Revelation 18 verses 9 to 11 The World Market Revelation 18 verses 9 to 11 Nine and the kings of the earth, who committed acts of sexual immorality, and lived luxuriously with her, will weep and mourn over her when they see the smoke of her burning, ten standing at a distance because of the fear of her torment, saying, Woe, woe, the great city, Babylon, the strong city! For in one hour your judgment has come. Eleven and the merchants of the earth weep and mourn over her, because no one buys their cargo any more. Any Christian that is a conspiracy theorist is the worst kind of lukewarm believer. The word of God is 100% truth, and a child of God should believe it is. If a person believes in the second coming or rapture, many believe in the prophecy of a new world order. They think that the world's nations will come together as one world governments with all their hearts. The prophetic word of the Holy Bible says the new world order is impossible. For one major reason, most leaders if each country is too prideful to surrender their will to one ruler. Religious and spiritual beliefs are something different. Worldly powers will tickle ears to please lukewarm Christians. Daniel 2 verse 41 And in that you saw the feet and toes, partly of potter's clay and partly of iron, it will be a divided kingdom, but it will have within it some of the toughness of iron, since you saw the iron mixed with common clay. 42 And just as the toes of the feet were partly of iron and partly of pottery, so some of the kingdom will be strong, and part of it will be fragile. 43 In that you saw the iron mixed with common clay, they will combine with one another in their descendants, but they will not adhere to one another, just as iron does not combine with pottery. To understand the book of Revelation, a child of God needs to understand the book of Daniel. The book of Daniel will tell a child of God that the beast is a nation or kingdom. To add to that, the book of Daniel says that the beast that challenges the authority of the Lord is a beastly spiritual nation. How will a child of God know the beastie nation is spiritual because it questions God's authority by changing the law of God, the Most High? No man can serve two masters. Scripture says the beast empire that deceives the world does it very easily, when waving gold, silver and cash as provision, an image like Uncle Sam will be their god in heartbeat. Daniel 7 verse 23 This is what he said. The fourth beast will be a fourth kingdom on the earth which will be different from all the other kingdoms, and will devour the whole earth and trample it down and crush it. 24 As for the ten horns, out of this kingdom ten kings will arise, and another will arise after them, and he will be different from the previous ones, and will humble three kings. 25 And he will speak against the Most High and wear down the saints of the Highest One, and he will intend to make alterations in times and in law, and they will be handed over to him for a time, times, and half a time. Most world leaders like kings, queens, presidents, prime ministers, and even dictators are not spiritual or religious. Revelation 18, verses 12 to 15, is a list of items nations or beasts import and export to each other. The beast's mark is about worship, but to the physical, literal mind. It wraps around the subject of buying and selling. Worldly leaders do not differ from ordinary people. They live in a world of supply and demand. When they see the beast that provides all their essential and worldly needs and desires is destroyed within one hour by the full wrath of God, they will lose all the hope they have. When the Roman Empire collapsed, most of the world was in the Dark Ages, or the Medieval or the Middle Ages, which lasted hundreds of years. On Judgment Day, the Lord's second coming, Dark Ages will only last about an hour for those who worship and follow the beast. When that hour is up and the beast is destroyed, they can say or think, whoa, 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 the one I pledge my allegiance to is abolished, no jot or tittle of it remains. Ask yourself these brothers and sisters in the nation you live in, your provider, or is the Lord, Yahweh Yireh, the one you worship, the good shepherd who gives all you need so you shall not want. God bless you all, Jesus loves you, and so do I. His bondservant Samuel Jerry Head. Revelation 18 verse 12 Cargo of gold, silver, precious stones, and pearls, fine linen, purple, silk, and scarlet, every kind of citron wood, every article of ivory and every article made from very valuable wood, bronze, iron, and marble, thirteen cinnamon, spice, incense, perfume, frankincense, wine, olive oil, fine flour, wheat, cattle, sheep, and cargo of horses, carriages, slaves, and human lives. 
14 The fruit you long for has left you, and all things that were luxurious and splendid have passed away from you and people will no longer find them. 15 The merchants of these things, who became rich from her, will stand at a distance because of the fear of her torment, weeping and mourning, 16 saying, Woe woe, the great city, she who was clothed in fine linen and purple and scarlet, and adorned with gold, precious stones, and pearls, 17 For in one hour such great wealth has been laid waste. And every shipmaster and every passenger and sailor, and all who make their living by the sea, stood at a distance, 18 And were crying out as they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, What city is like the great city? 19 And they threw dust on their heads and were crying out, weeping and mourning, saying, Woe woe, the great city, in which all who had ships at sea became rich from her prosperity, for in one hour she has been laid waste. 20 Rejoice over her, O heaven, and you saints and apostles and prophets, because God has pronounced judgment for you against her.